Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, now for this video, I'd just like to review um, a, a box set of a, a new a horror TV series that I bought uh, recently, uh, and it's based on the uh, on the uh, movies. You know the horror movies, um, and that series is called Chucky Season One. Uh, now um, I'm just before I say anything else about this series, I'm just going to read you the blurb at the back just to give an idea of you know of the story, and I'll talk a little bit more about the series in depth and give you my own thoughts on it. Okay, so uh, this is a special edition, by the way, as you can see from here. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's got the lenticular slip cover. Um, so so here we go. This is the uh, blurb anyway. The notorious Chucky slashes his way to television in a killing you series written and uh, written. An executive produced by creator Don Mancini, who penned the iconic film franchise. After teenage loner Jake Wheeler, played by Zachary Arthur, discovers a vintage good guy doll at a suburban yard sale, a quiet, a quiet American town soon erupts into mayhem as a blood-chilling murder spree begins to spill everyone's deepest and darkest secrets. While Chucky, voiced, voiced by Brad Dourif, who, who did the voice in the movies, um, unleashes havoc, Familiar faces from his past return and threaten to reveal his shadowy origins as a seemingly ordinary child who somehow became the legendary murderous doll. Now this includes, this edition includes a lenticular slipcase, as I say, uh, our cards, four our cards and a 32 page booklet. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Okay then guys, uh, so on to my thoughts on the series as a whole. Now I've watched most of it, uh, but I've got two more episodes to watch. And from what I've watched so far, I have not been impressed. Um, if you, I've written a couple of things down uh, about the movie and that, you know, because I didn't want to, I wanted to make sure I covered ev every failing about the movie. So if you see me glancing sideways, you know, from time to time, it's just I've got some uh, notes to sort of like help me remember some of the things like I don't want to leave out yet. Okay, so for one thing, um, it was, uh, this is very much a teen, you know, a teen theme movie. Uh, most, most the cast, as you see, are all teenagers. Um, and, um, it, 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 had, it had many faults. Um, for one, there was too much backstory. Um, because like in between the main story that was happening, you know, present day, there was these annoying constant flashbacks of it. Uh, you know, the, the original killer, uh, Charles Lee LeRae, it was flashing back to his origin all the time, and that spoke the general, you know, general flow of the series. Um, and also. I didn't like any of the characters in this series at all. I found them profoundly irritating, dull, uh, and extremely boring. Um, you know, um, especially the main protagonist, you know, who uh, buys the doll and that. Yeah, um, his um, his facial his facial expressions and that. You know, what I mean, like um, he he sort of like um, he was just it, it, it was just awful facial expressions. You know, um, if he didn't look on the verge of tears, he looked surprised. And if he didn't look surprised, he looked like a, bu a bloody bulldog. <laughs> he looked like he looked like a bloody bull bulldog chewing chew a wasp. Yeah, um, honestly, you know, he had one of those irritating mugs I've ever seen in a TV series. <laughs> he really was on that. You know, he's oh god, he could have got a better character than, than him. You know, to play this play this part, um, he forever looked awkward. <laughs> he forever looked awkward and uncomfortable on screen. Um, you know, as I say, not at the None of the characters impressed me at all. They really did this and that, you know. Uh, now the movie's described as as the movie's described as a coming of coming of rage story, uh, which in my view is just a euphemism for saying there's far too many bloody teenagers in it. Something I always hate, uh, whether it's a TV. <laughs> I've said this before. The Americans always seem to, you know, they have this tendency to put far too many teenagers in the mo in the movies, the horror movies, and the the TV series and that. I mean, at the exclusion of, of more mature people and that. You know, I don't mind a couple of teenagers in, like, but, you know, when it's completely dominated by teenagers and that, um, you know, um, now, um, in regard to the killings, they were, there, was, there wasn't all that many killings in it, really. And when, 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 the, when, the, when there were killings, they were quite gory and that, you know, and bloody and that. Um, another, another irritating character, another, another irritating character in the series was that whiny little sister... Um, of the blonde girl, uh, Lexi Cross. God almighty, she never stopped pining. I want Chucky! I want Chucky! I want Chucky! God almighty, I've never seen a, a, a girl win so much for a doll in a movie. God, she was irritating. She was, ir it, she, was, she was just as much irritating as the main protagonist was. Yeah, oh God. I felt like saying somebody, somebody shove a dirty sock in her mouth and shut her up. I want Chucky! I want Chucky! Bloody hell. 
Another thing I didn't like it was about it was the rather near the knuckle sex scenes in it. And um, for instance, you had two young uh, teenage boys kissing, actually kissing, you know, in you know, in this series and that. And then in the Jennifer Tilly flashbacks, there were some rather raunchy scenes and in, in, raunchy scenes there. And um, both scenes, in my opinion, they don't they don't even deserve a jocular who misses. You know, they could have left them out. Um, yeah, that the sex scene spoils it as well. Um, yeah, I say I hated the intermittent flashbacks chronicling chronicling the uh, origin of Charles uh, Charles Lee Ray. You know, whose spirit is of course behind behind Chucky's murderous rampages. Um, I said, don't even get me started on the Jennifer Tilly, the Jennifer Tilly uh, flashback. You know, she played Tiffany, reprised the role as Tiffany from The Bride of Chucky. Oh, you know, I mean, um, there, there was a bit of humour, humour like humour, humour pepper in the series to start with. But when they started showing her character, that cemented, you know, the ridiculous, unnecessary, uh, humorous, uh, humorous uh, aspects of this movie, um, you know, um, I say I hated hated the main protagonist Jake Wheeler. You know, um, he was very, 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 very annoying and that. You know, and um, yeah, and it, as I say, it was mo mostly for teenagers and that. And Chucky the doll itself, in my opinion, it was just a watered down version of the doll in the movies and that. You know, uh, the original Child's Play movies. Um, you know, um, so uh, yes, yeah, so it's too much backstory about about let you know the killer you know uh, charles lee larray uh, and I, I found the story in part it was quite slow you know and ridiculous moments in it i mean how many times can you uh, try to destroy chucky you know try to smash him up and and stamp on him and stamp on him and that and yet he comes keeps coming back time after time and I did, another thing i didn't like i didn't like jake wheeler the way he handled their uh, chucky's murderous rampages he didn't seem to be all he didn't seem to be all that really uh you know terrified and that you know um, and he seems to he seems to seems to develop this rather uh, un, unconvincing attachment to the doll, you know. Yeah, so the story could have been done much better, guys. And that you know it was an absolute mess in my opinion, you know, and not a patch on the original the original movies and that you know the original Charles play movies, you know. And um, yeah, the character main character was too whiny and wimpy, you know. As I say, his facial expressions and that <laughs> they didn't seem to didn't seem to really change and that, you know. Yeah. I say another another thing that spoiled for me is the constant use of bad language, you know, ex explicit, especially from the you know the teenage blonde girl. You know, there's no need for it. Like especially this series being shown on television, you know, there's no need to put bad language in it. You know, um, as I've said before in the, in my previous videos, you know, they, they put too much bad language in some of these uh, movies and TV series and that, and that detracts from it. I mean, I know you've got to be a bit realistic and that, you know, and have a little bit of swearing, but sometimes you can go over the top, you know, especially ones with teenagers in. So that was another big no-no for me. Um, I'll just say the whiny girl and that. I want Chucky! I want Chucky! God, God almighty, you know. I don't know about Elvis shooting the television. <laughs> Very much along the lines of, uh, well, turning her off, you know. Um, yes, it was described as a coming of rage story. Uh, but as I say, that's, in my view, that's just a euphemism for saying there's far too many bloody teenagers in it and that, you know. Um, yeah, but I didn't I didn't enjoy this series at all, guys. And I don't think I'll be getting, I don't think I'll be getting uh, season two, which I believe they're currently making. Uh, missed opportunity, in my opinion, you know. Um, None of the characters were likeable at all, you know, I couldn't root for any of them and that, you know, and as I say, the main protagonist and that, you know, oh, he was just, just the awful character, you know, and as I say, it's very much a teenage movie, teenage series, this guy's and that, but this is just my opinion, if you, if you like, I mean, I know a lot of people do like this series, but, uh, and then a lot of people hate it and that, they thought it was slow, they thought it was ridiculous, you know, and uh, I am of the latter, the latter category, as you probably gathered by my rather um, blunt, blunt opinion of this uh, this car crash of a TV series. Yeah. Okay then. So um, on to a rating now. I'm gonna have to only give this three out of ten, guys, and that's only for the uh, the killings and that. You know, the gory killings and that. Um, I don't. I didn't. Um, I don't think I'll be going back to this. You know, so I flung it on eBay. So it's still nobody's bid for it. Yeah. So if anybody wants to buy it on eBay and that, it's there. I'm selling it for twenty six quid. Yeah. But um. Yeah, it was just a disaster from start to finish. I mean, I wanted to like it. I mean, as you, if you've watched my previous videos and that when I first got it, I was over the moon and that. You know, I was really excited because I love the Chucky films. I don't love all of them. There's been a few turkeys and that, especially The Bride of Chucky, you know, uh, and The Cult of Chucky, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, bring introducing cults into the into the uh, into the uh, story. Mm -hmm. This actually follows on from the uh, from those Chucky movies and that. It actually followed continues the story and that. But um, yeah, it's some it's one that's definitely never have been made and that. 
um, a very very disappointing um, and I don't think I'll be I don't think I'll be going back to this anytime soon um, yeah so that's me rating anyway for Chucky the TV series uh, yeah have you seen this series what did you think of it do you share my views that it was a it was a complete a complete mess from start to finish you know uh, yeah feel feel free put your comments down below It'd be very interested to hear what your thoughts of it and that but yeah i didn't like as i say i don't think i'll be revisiting this guys it was a it was a huge huge disappointment in that and irritating characters some of the most irritating characters i have ever ever seen in a horror tv show you know um it, the story just lacked credibility you know it was far-fetched uh unconvincing uh, it wasn't gripping it wasn't the doll was by no means scary you know it was wasn't scary in the slightest it really wasn't you know um so yeah so there you go that's me that's me review of a uh, chucky season one and um, yeah okay then guys uh, so um so just to re remind us all i'll be going live on thursday this coming thursday again my third live stream at uh, 7 30 so if you want to pop along and say hello you know the, of course the main subject again will be horror so yeah pop along and say hello yeah look forward to a uh, chat with you all then uh, chatting with you all on thursday night yeah okay guys that concludes my re my uh, review of chucky the tv series i wish i could have had better things to say about it and that you know but um god i can still hear that whining girl's voice in my head i want chucky i want chucky i want chucky bloody hell see us all soon where's the nearest dustbin <laughs>